extremely exciting, obviously, to be able to provide these kind of resources to the program that really will give the coaches and the student athletes quality first class facilities to develop their skills, uh, to be competitive at the 1A level. Uh, it's something we've been thinking about, dreaming about, hoping about for a long time now, and to actually see machinery moving around, cement going into the ground, and the things start to come out of the ground. Uh, it's really exciting for us. You know, every day I see players looking through the fence, looking at the building, imagining where their locker's going to be, uh, what it's going to be like in the new weight room, the meeting rooms, uh, players' lounge. I think all of these things will just make the quality of life of being a Minuteman football player uh, so much better. I think the, having a world-class, first-class facility is going to put us on par with some of the top programs in the country to say we have everything we need as a, a men's and women's basketball program to compete at a national level. And it's uh, not only will it be a great building for athletics and for men's and women's basketball, but I think it'll be a showpiece for the campus, a place that people can come in and learn about the history of UMass basketball, a place that they can see uh, first-class facilities. And um, with all the upgrades on the campus and, and athletics, I think it's going to put um, UMass on, on par with the flagship universities of, of the state institutions. Everything in this building is state-of-the-art. The training room is going to be phenomenal. Um, the weight room um, is almost 3,000 square feet there. It's going to be great. Um, we have a theater in there, so we'll be breaking down film there as well. Our offices will be in the same building. Because um, right now, the, you know, the kids really, they, they go from three or four different buildings to get everything done in the course of the day. And uh, we'll be under one roof now. The cage, we love the cage, but I think it's time for new and better things. And it'll just put us, uh, put us that step closer to accomplishing the things that we want to do on the court. And with the practice facility, you know, we're so excited to be able to be in the gym uh, 24 hours a day to be able to have that open for us. And we're, we're really excited for it. When you're trying to get into a conference and be part of a conference that is a birds of a feather, very often if they're talking about you, they just assume that you can play at their level athletically. What they want to know is academically what you're bringing to the table to improve the appearance, quality, and perception of that conference. And I've seen it over and over and over again. And having a, a top 50 institution in the world, the University of Massachusetts, now move up to the, the level of the Mid-American Conference in football and the A-10, which is a preeminent conference in basketball, and continue to build the kind of facilities we need to be competitive in those, in those uh, conferences uh, and with that peer group is something that's important to the athletic program, but it's also equally important to the academic program and the kind of institution we want to build as a holistic institution here at the University of Massachusetts uh, Amherst. Well, I really believe that the people here today represent the heart and soul of a Minuteman. Uh, we have great leadership that's here today, uh, obvious examples of loyalty, uh, people that have loved and cared about UMass football for many, many years. Uh, some have given, uh, uh, dug very deep in their pockets to help us financially, and some have just been just great supporters and great friends of the program. For the guys that are younger in the program and the recruits, I think it gives us a, a centerpiece and a showpiece of uh, the recruiting process to say we're committed to men's basketball, that we're going to have facilities that are on par with uh, some of the best programs in the nation, and then to have a place that you can call your sanctuary, where you can go and work on your craft and your game 24 hours a day, seven days a week, in an environment that is uh, top of the line. I think it shows the players and the people on campus and everybody involved that we are 100% committed to what's going on here. We've been up against um, a lot of opponents that have a, a really nice practice facility. We've been recruiting against that for a while now. Um, now we'll be able to say that we can offer you the same here at UMass, but ours will be newer and brighter.